Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Imperion Galactic Survival. This is going to be Season 2, Episode 1, and this game is now fully out on Steam. Uh, what is Imperion Galactic Survival? I'm going to be talking to you guys like you don't know anything about it, because I'm pretty sure most of you don't know anything about it. Um, Imperion is an open-world, like, sandbox... Uh, survival game. Okay, you've got survival aspects like food and oxygen. Um, it's an open universe. As of right now, this game is in early access. It just came out. It's actually a uh, pre-alpha, and it just came out on Steam. And uh, you can go pick it up right now on Steam. Uh, it's been very hyped. I've been doing some videos for it. And this game, uh, I'm so jacked. I'm so jacked. As of right now, I just want to let you know that the planet in the universe you start in is kind of finite. It's not so much where you can go anywhere right now, but there is a lot of stuff to look at. There's like I think, like, four planets and a moon and, like, uh, an asteroid thing. Asteroids you can go check out and a couple enemy space stations as well as enemy drones and all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, as, the, as the guys develop this game, they're going to be, um, they're going to be, you know, adding stuff to it. It will be procedurally generated eventually. There's going to be tons of star systems. It's just going to be a huge game. It's going to be a huge game. And uh, this is, I don't like comparing these games, but... It, you know, for a shorthand, think of Space Engineers with planets. Uh, it's got little differences from Space Engineers, but it's kind of like in that vein. Um, I'm going to be talking to you guys like you're new to this game. A lot of you guys are going to be new to this game, and I want to explain to you, you know, how to do things, how to survive, and how to deal with the game. Okay, so if you look right here on the bottom left-hand side, you're going to have health, food, oxygen, stamina, speed, jetpack, and gravity. Okay, uh, the health is obviously your health. Food is a food meter. You do need to eat. Oxygen is your oxygen meter. Uh, there's obviously no oxygen in space, and the oxygen on this planet is very thin, um, so you can't really breathe it. So I, I'm basically in an, in a suit here. Um, if you press V, you can go into third person mode. And when you're in third person mode, if you hold down Alt, you can zoom in and out with the mouse wheel, and you can also scroll around to look at your guys. So that's my guy in this little space suit. Huh? Not bad, right? Okay. So we've got a lot of things to take care of. We've, we've got a lot of uh, issues here. We crashed on this planet. Um, our ship was flying over. I'm not sure the storyline. There is going to be a storyline in this game. I'm not a big fan of storylines with these games, so I'm not really paying attention to it right now. But when you get the game, you can definitely find out the storyline. But I think that's the ship we crashed in or not. I'm not really sure. And as it was crashing, we basically uh, set up an escape pod and got out of it and crashed on the planet. And that's where we are right now. So as you can see right now, if you look on the bottom right hand side, anytime you get into a ship or a vehicle of some kind, it will give you a little readout for the ship you're in. Uh, power usage is off, it's got power left, whether it's docked or not. Distance to orbit and gravity. The gravity on the planet is 9.8, I think that's meters second meters per second squared or something like that. Um, all I know is the people keep telling me that's the uh, same gravity as Earth. So this is a very much Earth-like planet as far as gravity goes. Now if you look on the left hand side, we got a little hot bar here. Um, you start off with a drill, uh, a projectile pistol, and then nothing else, okay? Um, at least in your hot bar. If you press I, you bring up the inventory, and uh, there's nothing in our inventory. But you do start with stuff. Um, there's all kinds of stuff on this escape pod. There's um, a constructor, there's fuel tanks, and there's cargo containers. Let's take a look at the cargo containers. Press T to look into the cargo container. And right here, we've got a bunch of ingots, cobalt, uh, silicon, copper, iron, cobalt, neodymium, uh, magnesium powder, promethium pellets, and plastic raw materials. So we're going to hit this little button here to take everything out of there. And then we're going to check the other the other uh, inventories. Um, this is a bunch of stuff for growing stuff. You do, like I said, you do need to eat in this game. But we're not going to be doing farming right now. We will get into that at a later date, so we'll just leave that stuff in there. Now, uh, you can see right there I've discovered a new resource. Uh, there's something, I'm not sure if it's built into your spacesuit or something, but you could like, when you come near a certain resource, when you come near resources, they kind of get discovered. So you can see there's an iron deposit over there, there's a promethium deposit over there. So, yeah. Um, Alright, so we got some more cargo containers over here, and this one is fuel packs, a power work light, oxygen bottles, oxygen generator, and a core. Don't worry, I will explain to you what all that is for. And in here we have uh, some water, food, a bunch of uh, antidote or some antidote pills, uh, med kits, uh, a bunch of stuff. We'll go over this stuff as we see fit. All right. So first thing we're going to want to do is power up the ship. Actually, what you need to do is you need to get in the ship. You need to press Y to turn it on. Now you can see power usage is 4%. Power left is zero. Um, there's no power in the ship. So we're going to get out by pressing T again. 
We're gonna go to the power source. And we're gonna go ahead and put um put a couple power thingies in here. The first one, these things do not stack uh, when they go inside of a ship. So like that's uh you know that makes the containers inside the the fuel tanks matter because you can get bigger fuel tanks to hold more power power packs, fuel packs. Alright, so then this thing has power. Um, it'll have power for 39.2 minutes. Nothing else on that little thing has changed, so let's get at. Alright. So now we gotta craft some stuff. So the first thing you wanna do on this base, actually before you even start crafting things, first thing you wanna do is find a water source. Because you have this oxygen generator. Now this thing will generate oxygen, you know, who'd have thought. Um, and it, uh, you have to put it in water. So let's take a look at our map, press M. I usually put my oxygen generator here as well as everybody does. And then I build my base there. I kind of wanted to put it in a new place. Let's put the oxygen generator in a different place this time, just for the, I don't know, just for the walls. So basically what people do is whenever they, um, wherever they put down their oxygen generator, they basically build their base right there. So they don't have to keep going out to the oxygen generator. And it makes too much sense not to do it. So I'm going to do it. These guys right here are not hostile, so don't worry about them. They're just some of the, you know, some of the uh, uh, wildlife on the planet. There are there are going to be hostile um, aliens on this planet. Well, they're not aliens. I'm the alien because it's not my planet. Uh, right now, you can see the hint is telling me to build a ground vessel. Uh, we will get to that. Don't worry about that. You know what? We might want to build the ground vessel first. When, I've, already, I've already done a Let's Play of this game. I did Season 1. You can go check it out on YouTube or look in the description. I'll eventually have a playlist there for it. Um, on Season 1, I built a nice base on the planet, and then I went up to space, and that's all I really had time for. Um, I think this time I'm going to build a very modest base down here, and then I'm going to I'm gonna build a ship, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my, my real base in space. I'm going to make a space station. I think that's what I'm going to do. All right. It's a good spot for the water generator. So if you hold down shift and left click, it'll put it right into your hot bar. And you want this thing to be underwater. I'm trying to think of where's a good spot for it. It's probably a good spot for it. You can press insert, delete, home, and page up, page down to rotate these things. That's a good spot. All right, so now we're going to look into it by pressing T. It's got an op operational time, it's got next bottles, it's got status off, no energy source, and it's got an O2 source quality. It's always 80% on this planet. So we're going to go ahead and put a few power fuel packs in there, and now it'll run for 48 minutes, and the next bottle will come in 117 seconds. And basically what that's going to produce is oxygen bottles. And we need oxygen bottles to breathe, so that's a good thing. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to make a very modest base. Um, just a, a room that's going to be big enough for me to do everything I have to do. Um, some of the things we need in the base are um, another constructor. There's like a better constructor. I forget what it's called. Um, it's like an advanced constructor. It lets you make things your regular constructor can't make. Um, we're going to need an oxygen refill station. We're going to need a health refill station. We're going to need a, a food processor and um, maybe some storage and uh, probably a couple of refrigerators. I think that's pretty much all we need. Oh, by the way, that heart means I just ran out of stamina. When you run, you hold down shift. And you'll, you'll keep running until your uh, stamina runs out. And then you won't be able to run anymore. And then your heart will beat like that, which is, I don't know, kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah. So, oxygen. Oxygen station. Health station for health. And food processor for food. And then we'll be ready to go. Then we will make a, uh, a spacecraft. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the base. I'm going to make a... Um, a ground vehicle to drive around to each of these source, uh, sources of iron, copper, you know, promethium and stuff. And then I'm going to make a spaceship and go into space and start on a space station. Okay. So here we go. We're in here. So we got a bunch of promethium pellets. So the first thing you want to do is put them in promethium pellet. Right here is the constructor inventory. All right. It shows you everything you can make based on the tab you're looking at. You've got weapons and items, building blocks, components. And devices. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to components and you're going to find fuel pack. And it takes 10 Promethean pellets for the fuel pack. You, you, uh, if you hold down shift, it'll make 10 at a time. I usually don't even count what I have down here. I just, 
I put it on whatever. Uh, if I put this on 52, I think if it takes 10 Promethean pellets, it'll stop at like 10 or 11 or whatever. And then once you can't make any more, this will just disappear. So you're not you're not really messing with anything. I don't even bother counting. Just hit it as many times as you can. Um, if you want to cancel something, you can't cancel it. You have to hit this little button here on off and then hit the thing to, you know, take them away one at a time or 10 at a time, hold shift. All right. Okay, so while it's doing its thing, we are also going to start making a base. So what you need for a base is you need to go to building blocks. And right here you have a base starter building block and you have a ground vessel building block. You're also supposed to have building blocks for, um, for like, uh, for, what is this called? That's a ground vessel, small vessel and capital ships. Oh, you know what? I probably need in order for me to bake capital ships and, uh, small vessel, uh, starting blocks. I probably need the large constructor. So yeah, just remember, just keep that in mind. All right. So let's go ahead and see what we need for the base, for the base starter. Uh, we already got the whole block. We're going to need, oh, actually, in order for the stuff to be registered on here, like this says it needs a whole, by the way, every time this finishes, I'm gonna pause it. Every time this finishes um, and I have this moused over, that little thing on the right-hand side goes away. Um, so I already have the core. I need eight whole blocks. So that's this right here, these are whole blocks. All right, so in order for it to register the core, it has to be in the inventory of the constructor. You see right there, the core is green now. That's That means it, it sees it. So we're going to need gray. We're going to need whole block gray. Okay. So in order for whole block gray, we're going to need metal plates. In order for metal plates, we're going to need iron. Put the iron in there. Look for the metal plates. They are under building blocks? No. They're under components? Yes. Okay. So what do we what do we say? I don't remember two. I don't know. Whatever. Just make a bunch of metal plates. <laughs> I, I don't count in this game. I just kind of you know put stuff down. All right. So it's gonna get dark. This game's a little bit tough on on let's players because as it gets dark, the video is gonna be dark. So I'm just gonna put down this little light here. This light's pretty cool. Um, but the problem with it is you can't put it on your base. So it's only good outside, but it does give you a lot of light. So now we can actually see what we're doing. Let's see how our power is doing. We need more power. Let's go in the constructor and grab the fuel packs out of the constructor. And let's just put them all in here. Now you can put these in one at a time, which is kind of annoying, or you can hold down shift and it fills it up. So that's pretty neat. All right, while that's doing what it's doing, let's look at some of our items here. We've got a filler and a flattener tool. Um, Ammo filler and flatten charge. Uh, left mouse button fills. Right mouse button flattens. Um, I've never used that before. I'll probably use it at some point, but not right now. And there's the, the cartridges for it. Then we also have our drill, which obviously drills stuff out. And we have our cartridges for that. Uh, yep, they're color-coded. That's pretty sweet. Uh, and then we have our pistol with some pistol rounds. So this pistol is kind of a piece of crap. So, not really... Really concerned about that. We'll have to make another gun uh, pretty soon. All right, that's enough of these. Cancel those. Come on over here. And we need eight, eight hull blocks. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's not making them because it's off. Why? Oh, it was off because I, yeah, you have to turn it off to, to stop it. All right, so um, these items are color coded. Only certain items, like we'll look at devices. Only certain devices can go in certain on certain ships or bases. Um, bases are color coded in red. Capital vessels are yellow. Small vessels are green, and blue vessels are blue. So if you look right here, let's look at this thing. A small constructor. That this means it can go on a small vessel or a or a um, ground vessel, because you see it's blue and green. Uh, let's look at something else. Right here. Small fuel tank. Red means it can go on a base, and yellow means it can go on a large vessel. Can't go on a small vessel. Can't go on a, can't go on a ground vessel. That's what these are for. These are fuel tanks. These are the ones uh, green and blue is, yeah, your small, your small vessel and your ground vessel. So you can kind of color code these. You can kind of color code these, match them up. So you know what they can go on or not. Or if you don't want to deal with the color coding, you could just look on the bottom right hand side and it says placeable GVSV. Um, 
BA is base. Uh, CV is capital vessel. Like CVBA, right there, placeable capital vessel and base. Grand vessel is GV and small vessel is SV. All right, let's go make our base. It's going to be a little dark at certain points of this game. I hope it's not too dark. Um, if, I if I remember and I have the time, I will edit it to make the, uh, the dark parts brighter. Okay, I'm back. And uh, like a dope, I forgot to uh, actually make the base starter and get it. So I went back, I made the base starter, and I'm, I brought it over here. So, All right, so where do we want this to be? We want it to be out in the water? Nah, let's just put it right here. It's good. You need to flatten the terrain first. Interesting. How about here? That'll work. Hello. How do you like my base? Pretty cool, right? All right, so this is just what you start off with on a base. All right, so uh, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of mining. So let's come on over here and check out this iron deposit. I have no stamina. I'm going to drink this water. I don't really care. I don't know what the water is really for. You don't have a thirst meter. As far as I know, the water is only good for giving you stamina back. Problem is, once you get to a point... Yeah, you need a power generator for your base. Problem is, once you get to a point where you can make the items to give you stamina back, you don't really need it anymore because you have so many ships. So, I'm not really sure if, like, the coffee or any of that stamina re regen items or regen items are that important. Alright, so here's the iron deposit. So we're going to get some iron. And basically, you just hold down the left mouse button. And you know, let a bunch of rocks come up. You got to hit T to get the rocks. Usually, what I like to do is I hit the T while I'm while I'm mining. That way, you get most of the rocks. Man, I seem to get a lot of rocks out of this. One of the updates they did yesterday, getting ready for uh, the full launch, is that rocks would stop disappearing. So I'm thinking that a lot of rocks were disappearing before when they shouldn't have been. So I seem to be getting a lot of rocks very quickly. All right, let's see what we got here. Anything? Nothing. 90 in our inventory. Oh, we picked most of them up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, whatever. Let's just let them fall. I don't think they'll go anywhere. Okay. Come on. Come on, rocks. Now, as you can see on the uh, bottom left-hand side, my oxygen thing is now yellow. Uh, that means that, like, I'm getting low on oxygen, obviously, so... We need to take care of that uh, pretty soon. Be careful when you dig these kind of holes because um, if you get too deep, you, you could... Uh, you Oh, God, look at this. If you dig too deep, you could get stuck down here. It's never happened to me, but I've heard it happening to other people. It's never happened to me. You know, I, I get out. I'm not that stupid, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just, it just... I don't know. It just hasn't happened yet. I'm sure it will at some point. Uh, place a large constructor to craft advanced devices. That is correct. Um, the tooltip's really nice. When I first started playing, uh, we didn't have a tooltip. I've been playing for a couple weeks. Because uh, if you bought it and, like, uh, if you pre-ordered it, at a certain point you got in on the closed alpha. This game, uh, the closed pre-alpha. This game does not play like a pre-alpha. I've played a lot of, I've played a lot of alphas and pre-alphas before. This game is, um, this game's incredibly, incredibly far along for a pre-alpha. I mean, yes, it's not ra it's not randomly generated yet, um, and you know they have some graphical things to do to it. But man, like it's just it's really far along for a pre-alpha. So that's a uh, it's definitely a good sign. I have a lot of faith in these developers. All right, so let's get back to our base, and we're gonna craft up a couple things. We have to craft up a generator, a fuel tank, two constructors, um, an oxygen supply thingy. That's pretty much it. Actually, I probably don't even need the oxygen supply thingy. Let's do... Let's do the generator. Basically, the generator in the fuel tank replaces, um, from Space Engineers, the uh, the reactor. It's just separated into two things. The The fuel tank holds the fuel, and the generator is what actually generates your um, your power. Now, you got to keep a look on your oxygen here. If you start running low on oxygen, you come over to the ship. Right here on the, on the, uh, the left-hand side, you have oxygen tanks. You press T... Hold down shift, left click, it'll load up the oxygen container. And then right here is an oxygen station. You walk up to that, and that will refill your oxygen. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. 
Now you can notice I am getting hungry. You might be tempted to start eating these emergency rations. Wait until you're starving to eat these emergency rations because they fill up your food meter. Okay. Alright, so let's see what we need here. Let's see what we need here. So we need a lot of components. Like a lot of components. So let's just go to the components. Um, you might you might have to like sit here and like look at what you need and everything. I kind of have an idea of what is most important. Um, but first things first, let's go ahead and put these all in there. Hold down shift to click to hold down shift and click to just get them in there. Um, let's go ahead and make some ingots while we look for the other stuff we want to make here. Okay, so uh, we're definitely gonna need control devices. We're gonna need uh, cables. Like yeah, we're gonna need a lot of electronics. Gonna need a lot of cables, a lot of metal components, a lot of pipes. Actually, stop. Hammer time. Just kidding. Uh, let's stop this right now. Just stop everything. Take it back. You just put down the floor for your base. The next thing you want to do is put your base on hold. Make yourself a good weapon. Make yourself this assault rifle. Metal components and electronics. Metal components and electronics. I think it was five, right? One, two, three, four, five. And electronics. Only make what you need. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make ourselves an assault rifle. Over there is a crashed ship. Now, I was under the impression that that was my ship, okay? But last video, when I went over to inspect it, there was drones around it firing at me. If it's my ship, why are drones attacking me? I don't know. Maybe, they, maybe the drones were on the planet, and they are looking around the ship. I always thought the drones were from the ship. So there's one of two possibilities. Either that's a, that's a crashed ship from God knows where, and there's drones from the ship protecting the ship. Or, that's my ship that I crashed in, and the drones, which are already on the planet, are kind of inspecting the ship and firing at me when I get close. Actually, that second one kind of makes a little bit more sense. But, okay, so we got we got the gun right there. So now we're going to need some ammo for the gun. It takes a 6.8 millimeter. We're going to need metal pieces. So let's make some metal pieces. Uh, probably 6 will be good enough for now. We're gonna need metal pieces. Yeah, I mean, you could even you could even do this first thing if you like without even setting up the base, um, or you can set up the base and craft everything you want. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know that that base over there, or not that um crash ship over there, has a lot of materials that you can use um, instead of crafting them to make your to make your base. So put down the base platform like I did, and then go check out the ship. Uh, Build a base first and then go check out the ship. Or don't do any of that. Make yourself an assault rifle and then go check out the ship. It's honestly, no way is correct. No way is wrong. Um, it's just how you want to play. Now I'm not going to, I'm going to empty some of this stuff out because I'm not going to need some of this stuff. Mm, there's no way for me to get oxygen over there. I don't need a stupid flashlight. Uh, we might need some health. We don't need a second pistol. Uh, we're not going to need fuel packs. We're not going to need that 50 cal. And we are not going to need drill charges. I'll take the food just in case. We probably won't even need the pistol, but I'll take it. Eh, we won't need the pistol. I have faith in myself. The pistol is just in case you run out of ammo for your main weapon. Okay, so we got the uh, assault rifle. This thing's pretty sweet. But now we need some bullets for it. We need to make some of those. We already did. We've got 60 metal pieces. So let's go ahead and make the bullets. It takes... Five metal pieces and two magnesium powder to make uh, 25 bullets. So that's actually really good. 250 bullets should be enough. We'll make a little bit more, though. Uh, we are coming up to the end of the video, and these bullets are going to take quite a while. So I think we will call this one here. And next video, we will go assault the ship and, uh, you know, loot it up and then start our base. So that's going to be it for episode one. And we'll see you next time for episode two. Till then, take it easy.